Well, hello again, Internet. Uh, this is a continuation of um, AEM uh, or Adobe Experience Manager uh, lectures or uh, tutorials that I had put up last summer. You guys wanted more, so here we are. Uh, in this one, I'm going to just show you uh, a basic Adobe Experience Manager UI and how to navigate your way around uh, the application. And so let's log in. Uh, once you logged in there, um, there are two places. There are two things that are very important here. Once you log in, this what you're seeing here, the interface that you're seeing is a touch uh, enabled UI or touch based UI. It's just designed to be easy to navigate around using a touch gadget or a touch screen um, device. You know, so a tablet, it's going to be very easy to use that one. When you land here, uh, first thing is you uh, you see two navigations. We have the global navigation, which is what you're seeing there, and then of course you have uh, the navigation panel, which is on the side there. You have uh, that hammer there, and you have uh, that. So when you land on that, there this these are tools basically, and this section here is where most of the authoring happens so if you're an AEM or Adobe Experience uh, manager author uh, uh, you probably will be working here they also call them web producers and um, web content managers um, you know um, or just author you're gonna be working around this section of course um, if you are an AEM admin AEM developer and of course an AEM architect if you're adding services integrating services deciding what to use how from where you probably um, will be, you'll most likely be working around in most of this uh, section and there's a lot of tools here so you know there's a bunch of them and uh, uh, that's the basic UI so we can go deep and I can tell you what to use this with but uh, for the sake of this course which is just mostly an authoring course I'll just tell you what to expect in here there's a project uh, mostly uh, every project that you're running in AEM you can running it uh, uh, under projects like translation can be created as a project so you create a trans you create a translation project uh, most likely uh, connected to uh, your authoring there through an API uh, maybe translation provider down here uh, once you create that it should be able to be reproduced as a project then you can send that project into a translation and then in you know you can uh, accept it back and then it's integrated back to sites and you have your translated pages for the different languages you know and a few other ways you can use projects uh, for and then of course you know you can set the time you can start a project you can stop a project you know you can send uh, information to different uh, users are responsible for doing different things within the project uh, now this should not be confused with work front or work front or w work front but anyway so this is a good one uh, sites basically that's where you have all your websites you can see there uh, AEM uh, this is just a out-of-the-box installation instance so it has a, a few uh, you know uh, websites that ships with it and you can see that you know you can create different sites they have a it's an MSM which is multilingual or multi-site multilingual site and uh, it has a SMM SMM SM, MSM manager <laughs> so um, anyway so that sites mostly this is where you'll be authoring most of your pages um, you go back there you see assets that's where you'll be updating all your assets and uh, uh, by assets here I mean uh, you know images files and uh, we don't discourage the use of uh, AEM for storing heavy stuff like media you know videos and stuff but you can do that there if if your organization doesn't have an external um, 
uh, drive that connects into AEM or something. Most likely they will. Anyway, you have forms there. Uh, you can design and you can build forms. You know, they have to connect to a database where you store them. But, you know, for the most part, there's forms there. You can external source to send these forms and form, send this data. But anyway, you can build the forms there. Not very 100% what you use screens for. I can find that out for you. I've not used it much. Personalization, that segmentation, that's basically, you know, trying to uh, uh, make the experience of uh, using sites or any of this, you know, personal. And um, um, I can find more information about that. There's commerce. Uh, basically, there's a catalog here if you're connecting, and then there's communities. Which is basically forums if you want to build uh, sites like those and personalization I think is just like segmentation which is basically um, uh, being able to publish different for different places and uh, you can store most of this just like you store most of this content in fr experience fragments uh, you get to build it here but you get to use it here so you're pulling it you know and that's the same for also communities you know you go into communities basically you're setting up all the um uh, the roles for the different communities but you get to really uh use the information here whether these are closed sites their forums or you know or membership sites you get to use them over here so that's that's very interesting so finally um uh, i can go through this I think the most important thing you want to know is the CRX D Lite. This is the environment uh, where you develop from. Basically, it's a JCR repository uh, where you know you just have most of the stuff that you're really working on the side side being stored here as uh, nodes, and the nodes, of course, uh, have uh, you know properties there, you know key value pairs where everything is stored as a property. And, uh, and then you have tags and such forms, tags, templates, um, tags, oh, obviously for taxonomy, templates, these are templates that you use for authoring in AEM, so super authors will be authoring here. You have components, a list of all the components that are, are uh, developed within your instance, uh, managing uh, browser configurations there, translation, if you're connecting API, external translator, machine translator, or any type of translation. That's where you set it up. You have a few other things, you know, launches, archives, failures, you know, models. And that's where the admin work comes mostly, you know, web console where you just set up services. Uh, basically, AEM is a modular application, so uh, everything is a service, you know. And then, uh, and if, if, there's a lot of them here, and I can explain all of them. Uh, or at least most of them but for the simple uh, message in this you know uh, and regarding authoring you want to focus on this section of AEM um, so if you like uh, what I'm doing here just uh, hit the subscribe button you know you can share with your friend you know I hope you find something uh, uh, that's gonna help you in your research or whatever you're trying to learn thanks